everyone right um i'm just going to show you how to do this technique um, and this is made using wax paper uh, and it does make a nice background texture but i've just used used it to make a tag for now you know tag holder should i say but all you need is some wax paper and that's what it's like it's only waxed on one side the shiny side is a wax side and what you do you take the wax paper and you scrump it up and yes i know tim holtz has been on lately doing one some something similar to this with glassine paper but um you know you think how much it's costing for that when you can do the same thing using ordinary wax paper so i'm just showing you a cheaper version <laughs> use ordinary wax paper wax one side so it will stick to your project stretch it back out okay take hold of your ink whichever one you want to use and just rub that across right. I'm just using the walnut stain at the moment Like that. Take your water. Spray it on. Just, I need to top my bottle up, I think. Like that. No, I did have a sponge. What did I do with my sponge? Here it is. Take your sponge. And just wipe it like that. So all you're doing is basically getting into the cracks where the ink pad didn't touch. Wipe it in because on wax water won't um, stay; it'll just come off. But with the cracks, you can move the water in all of them. So now look, we've got that. It's just like fibre now. It looks like you've got a fibred material. So then what we do, take your heat gun. I have to excuse me because I'm still blind. I have to excuse me because I have got a bit of a runny nose. Because I'm full, absolutely full of bloody cold. <laughs> Sorry about that. But dry this off. like that and there you've got your paper to work with now all i did then was wrap that around an envelope which i will show you i'll do that for you oops i've just used an ordinary envelope like this just wet the end Stick that over, and then what you're going to need is some tape. Which I'm using some broad tape at the moment. And pop it on there. Doesn't have to be perfect whatsoever. Turn it over onto the non wax side. Just lay that on. I hope you can see what I'm doing. Sorry. Okay. Again, add some more tape. Just 
but I, I just love the effect it gives. Okay, it doesn't have to be perfect at all. And then turn it around and simply fold that over like that. Sorry, what I didn't do was I did not pull that there enough to stick down. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter at all. Just cut that and stick that down. Like that. And then we can wrap that back over. And you simply need to trim that off. Like that. You trim one end to the envelope, on one end you cut off, like that, and you've done that. And then, let me just trim these edges off. Take my punch, which I forgot to bring over. Open one end of the envelope, pop that in. And there you go, you've got another one, and it is fabulous, like that, you make a mini out of that, <laughs> you could just make a mini, a little mini, uses a nice text text style, sorry, <coughs> background texture, now, the thing is with this, that would now make a nice steampunk mini, that on a steampunk mini would be great so i just thought i'll show you that try it with different colors mix your colors have two or three different colors that would be fabulous well, don't waste your big bits because you might need them for something else and uh have a go enjoy it see what you come up with thanks for watching bye bye for now <laughs>